The Women Tech Council is proud to present the 2018 Women Tech Award finalists. Andrea Ibanez is the CEO and co-founder of Streamly, an approval workflow software platform. Prior to that, she was Vice President of People Operations at Canopy, where she helped the company triple its size and revenue. Andrea immigrated to America from Bolivia at a young age and has been actively creating and accomplishing her American dream ever since. She worked at Inside Sales for five years, helping to expand the brand globally. Andrea founded her own nonprofit organization, El Chosky Foundation, to help gather supplies for her home country of Bolivia. She has a bachelor's degree in business management and peace and justice studies from Utah Valley University. Aide Soto is the CTO and technical co-founder of Simple Citizen. After moving to the U.S. from Mexico in 2014, Aide had to put her IT career on hold while waiting for work authorization and learned the challenges of navigating the U.S. immigration system. She has since helped thousands of individuals work through the immigration process. Aide holds a bachelor's degree in computer science from Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León in Mexico. Aide was accepted as the first female entrepreneur and one of few Latinas to participate in the Y Combinator program. She's also a new mom. Danielle Ackles is the Vice President of Experience Analytics at Merkel. She's an experienced digital analytics leader with over 18 years experience in research, web development, business intelligence, and advanced analytics. Her data leadership helps clients such as GSK, NBC Universal, Walmart, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, Sony, and many more. Danielle volunteers her time to her latest professional passion called I Stem From, a company she founded to empower, help, teach, and mentor people from underrepresented communities and help them consider STEM-related careers. She relaxes by researching her latest passion, interior design. Erin Goodsell is managing counsel at Qualtrics. As a leader in the legal community for tech and cyber issues, she has represented technology companies for over a decade, navigating complex legal situations. Erin has helped companies like Facebook and Sony, trailblazing the way for new and complicated areas of tech and law. Some of the work Erin has done is so novel that it now appears in law school textbooks, including the book Erin uses when she teaches cyber law at BYU Law School. Erin lives in Provo with her husband and four children, where she loves spending time with her family, enjoying the outdoors. Holly Ramash is the Executive Vice President and Chief Clinical Officer at Health Catalyst. In her six years as EVP, Holly has been instrumental in driving the company to remarkable growth. Early in her career, she recognized that integrating technology, data, and analytics with best practices and adoption principles was critical to achieve and sustain improvement. Holly has a bachelor's in nursing administration from Brigham Young University and a master's of science in nursing and adult physiology from the University of Utah. Holly has been known to have annual passes to both Disneyland and Disney World at the same time. Jackie White is the Senior Vice President of Global Sales at SaltStack. She is responsible for building a global sales team and driving revenue. She's been a leader in enterprise technology, software, and IT sales and consulting for the past 25 years. Jackie has held global positions at SAP, Oracle, and Accenture, where she developed and led cross-functional teams focused on selling highly competitive technical solutions to solve strategic business problems. In addition to her work at SaltStack, Jackie enjoys mentoring students at BYU and the University of Utah. After living outside Boston for 25 years, she and her husband Robert are happy to be back in Utah where they have four grown children. Jennifer Smith is the first female Chief Information Officer at Zions Bank Corporation and leads the largest group of employees in the company. Jennifer provides executive leadership for the implementation of Zion's core banking system replacement, the largest project in the company's history. Jennifer has held senior positions in internal audit, risk management, and operations with Zion's and Wells Fargo. At the age of 28, she became a senior vice president at Wells Fargo and senior director of information technology audit. Jennifer is actively committed to community service as a leader in United Way, on the board of YWCA of Utah, and a Big Brother Big Sisters of Utah mentor. 
Carly Slocum is the Director of Digital Customer Experience and Interactive Marketing at Myriad Genetics. She has spent the last eight years with Myriad Genetics promoting numerous product lines across multiple business units. Her experience spans digital marketing, web-based software development, business development, and integrated business solutions. She holds a Bachelor's in Business Administration from Illinois State University and is currently pursuing a Master's in Information Systems. She has found a passion for helping patients understand and know their healthcare options while providing easy-to-use solutions for providers to integrate hereditary cancer testing in their practices. Laura DeShazo is the assistant principal at Murray High School. She began her career as an educator where she taught many courses including web development, computer technology, and business management to 10th through 12th grade students. She completed a master's degree in business management with an emphasis in technology and leadership from Webster University and a second master's in educational administration and leadership from SUU. In 2012, she moved into a position for the Utah State Board of Education where she was a lead in implementing computer science and digital studies as a graduation requirement for all high school students in Utah. Laura is a two-time Ironman triathlon finisher and mom of two. Leslie Falk is a Senior Vice President at Health Catalyst. She helps the nation's premier health systems define, execute, and communicate analytics-driven improvement in the healthcare industry. Under her leadership, these projects have culminated in over 150 published case studies that document countless saved lives and millions of dollars in savings. Leslie is an adjunct professor at Boise State University's School of Nursing. A lifelong learner, she holds a Doctor of Nursing practice from Boise State University and an MBA and a Bachelor's in Engineering from UNLV. She is a licensed registered nurse and certified as a Project Management Professional, Green Belt Lean, and Information Privacy Professional. Lindsay Zuloaga is the Director of Data Science at HireVue. A physicist by training and a passionate problem solver by nature, she has worked to completely transform traditional recruiting and interviewing with a video platform that focuses on a holistic understanding of job candidates fit with roles and organizations. Lindsay completed a bachelor's in physics from the University of Utah, a master's and PhD in applied physics from Rice University, and has worked as a postdoctoral researcher at Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich. She participates in data science conferences and meetups and is a passionate advocate of using artificial intelligence to overcome bias. Megan Stolp is an engineering manager at Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems. She currently leads the military structures engineering team responsible for the manufacturing of composite structures used on both military and commercial aircraft. In her previous role as the chief engineer over commercial aircraft engine structures, the program saw significant growth in production rate and substantial cost reductions. Megan has a passion for promoting women in technology and supporting STEM programs by volunteering across the Wasatch Front. Megan received an executive MBA from the University of Utah and holds a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from Colorado State University. Mina Wang is an analyst at Kickstart and is passionate about building a community among Kickstart's portfolio companies. She splits her time between Kickstart's community platform and supporting the team in deal screening and due diligence. Prior to Kickstart, Mina was the managing partner of Campus Founders Fund, a student-run venture fund powered by Kickstart that invests exclusively in Utah student entrepreneurs. She helped shape the mission and structure of the fund while growing the portfolio to eight companies, including Simple Citizen and Ancestor Cloud. Mina graduated from the University of Utah with a bachelor's in biomedical engineering with a computational emphasis. Moana Palele Ho Ching is originally from Nuuli American Samoa. She serves as the Assistant Director of Educational Outreach of the Honoring Nations Program at the Harvard Project on American Indian Economic Development based in the Wiener Center on Social Policy at Harvard Kennedy School of Government. 
As an advocate, policy researcher, and developer, Moana's passions center on elevating stories of indigenous affairs, sovereignty, and governmental best practices through digital technology to empower native communities. Moana graduated from Harvard University and was awarded Utah Governor Herbert's Multicultural Youth Leadership Day Educator Award in 2014 for her work on behalf of first-generation Pacific Islander college students. Nancy Ham is the CEO of WebPT, the country's leading rehab therapy software platform for enhancing patient care and fueling business growth. Prior to joining WebPT, Nancy served as CEO of Healthogen Population Health Solutions. Nancy has twice been named one of the most powerful women in healthcare IT, as well as Woman of the Year by the American Business Awards. Companies under her leadership have been consistently recognized for excellence from groups such as Gartner, Microsoft, and Class. Nancy holds a bachelor's degree in economics from Duke University and a master's degree in international business studies from the University of South Carolina. In her free time, she enjoys traveling the world, mountain biking, and being outdoors. Companies under her leadership have been consistently recognized for excellence from groups such as Gartner, Microsoft, and KLAS. Nayana Penmetsa is an engineering lead at Qualtrics. After joining Qualtrics in 2014 as a software engineer, Nayana quickly learned the product and customer base. She played a major role in winning some of the most strategic accounts for Qualtrics, contributing to more than 20 million in revenue. Nayana is passionate about education and helping young girls to pursue STEM fields. She is one of the founding members of the Women Leadership Development Group at Qualtrics. Nayana has a master's in information systems from the University of Washington in Seattle. She enjoys spending time with her little nephew and traveling, hiking, and exploring the world with her husband. Sue Fellows is Workfront's EVP of Customer Success. She is responsible for managing the customer organization, including customer success, education and training, customer success operations, strategic services, and technical support. Prior to Workfront, Sue was the Vice President of Global Customer Excellence at Aptus. Sue has worked for both startup and enterprise technology companies, including Right Now Technologies and Oracle, and has held leadership roles in professional services, operations, and customer success management. Sue has an MBA from George Washington University and a BA in Business Administration from Goucher College. In Sue's free time, she enjoys being outdoors with her family. And the finalists for the 2018 Student Pathway Award. Haley Kirk is earning her Bachelor of Science in Information Systems from the BYU Marriott School of Business. One of the major projects for students is called Intex. Under her leadership, her group won first place in the Intex competition out of 30 teams in December 2017. In addition, Haley participated in an International Information Systems competition where her team placed first for American schools and she won third place overall. Haley is an undergraduate research assistant and on her own time is conducting innovative research in information systems to measure compassion in the workplace. She has been awarded an ORCA mentoring grant from BYU to conduct her research and is actively preparing a research paper to present at the Hawaii International Conference on System Sciences. Jerrica Osler is currently studying information systems in the Marriott School of Business at BYU. During her junior year, Jerrica served as the Vice President of Technology in the Women in Business Club where she worked continuously to be an advocate for women both in technology and business. She has spent a significant amount of time mentoring undergraduate women. Jerrica plans to use her technology background to make a difference in the world of agriculture, education, and the field of medicine. One of her great achievements was redefining the Color My World website. She developed 12 training videos helping others in five countries around the world learn and implement Microsoft Office 365. She knows technology can change the world and wants to help others become more technologically advanced so they can improve their lives. Rachel Laub is pursuing her dream of becoming a software engineer as a student at Weber State University, majoring in computer science with minors in entrepreneurship and fashion merchandising. 
While completing a rigorous high honors curriculum at Davis High School, she concurrently earned the Information Technology Technician Certificate from Davis Technical College and taught object-oriented programming with an emphasis in web development to 5th through 9th graders. Rachel completed a web development internship with the DTC marketing team and is currently an intern for WSU's admissions office for the constituent relationship management team. She is an admissions ambassador for WSU, responsible for visiting high schools, giving campus tours, running new student orientations, and representing the College of Engineering, Applied Science, and Technology. Congratulations to all of the 2018 Women Tech Award finalists.